Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday, August 21st. This will be your full-length reading on TikTok and YouTube. So if I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube and watch the full-length version. If you're interested in scheduling, there is a scheduling link in the bio of TikTok and the description of YouTube. Um, so we're going to call on St. Michael. We're going to ask St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through that word or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors for a message for our greater good. So we're going to use the wisdom of the oracle first. We got blessed and serendipity. So there is a blessing de definitely headed your way. And this is a, uh, a blessing that's meant to happen. This is the divine, okay, stepping in. And this was after a period of your life where there's a lot of chaos and conflict. So let's see what this is about. and serendipity. Wow. Less and serendipity. My gosh. You have divine love, ace of cups, gift from God. This is not only loving yourself, but others coming into your life that will love you equally. Um, this is a gift, followed by the ace of swords. Truth, clarity. Um, regarding your path forward, also the card of victory, enlightenment. Um, then I see you will be celebrating newfound stability. This can be with a partner or without. This is um, a stable foundation, um, working with others, having this stability, celebrating your new life. Um, it's a lot of joy and happiness. Blessed and serendipity. What do we need to know? Oh my gosh. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> this is the third ace out of five cards. This is the third, the third uh, ace. So this talks about um, uh, new opportunities coming in for financial security, a blessing of abundance. Wow, I am speechless. Blessed and serendipity. Equal give and take. Again, six of pentacles. You receiving equally to your value, your worth. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay, so there was a tower moment. Um, this was a total destruction of what you thought was stable. This comes out like almost every day, guys. This lower vibrational could be a fire sign, knight of wands, energy wanting to rush in because they are experiencing karma. There's an apology. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This comes out like every day. So... You're being blessed in so many ways in every direction in your life. You have happiness. You have security. And then we have this energy who caused you so much pain in the past. Now the wheel is turning. The wheel of fate, the wheel of destiny is turning. So the person that hurt you in the past, you're being blessed while they are experiencing their, their karma. The scales are being balanced. Yeah. Okay, I want to get one more for clarity. Yeah, so this person chose the commitment in the wrong direction. Now there's no peace in that commitment. And all they do is spy on you, watch you obsessively. Because you're the empress. You're a divine feminine in your power, proud and confident. You're magnetic. You're abundant. Um, everything that you touch turns to gold. I mean, you are an amazing energy. And this person can see they made the wrong choice. And this comes out so much. Yeah, there's the choice. Yeah. 
you know, this person made the wrong choice. They are in this cold and detached energy. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but this person suffers in silence is what Spirit just said. The heart broken in silence. Yeah, they see you as the star. You are a bright light. You've healed and you help others. They also see you as grounded, stable, and financially secure. You're abundant. Yeah, this person knows they have nothing to offer you, so they're trapped within their own mind because they know what they've done, and they know you're an empress, and you have no use for a pentacle, a page of pentacle offer. This may not resonate for everyone. You're headed toward complete emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups, dreams and wishes coming true. A new beginning that leads to the Ten of Cups. What else do we need to know? With a divine partner. This has been coming out a lot too. King and Queen of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or have those placements, or someone that's just your equal. This is definitely a blessing from God. Yeah. And now this person is stuck with the memories of how they hurt you. Trapped. Trapped in their life, trapped in their life choices. You've, you've learned to love yourself and release any anxiety or fear or sadness associated with your lesson. Yeah. You know, the, the period of stagnancy of not moving forward is over because you've closed the cycle. You can see there's no movement in that relationship and God is blessing you with a passionate new beginning. I think we got all the aces. So you are divinely protected, and I'm going to pull from another deck. This is just a crazy reading. It's crazy amazing for you guys. So let's do the old school deck. Let's see what comes out. What do we need to know about this lust and serendipity? What do we need to know? block someone you're uninterested because you were in a commitment with this person and they juggled you and now they're stuck they're stuck in the choices they made blessed yeah you saw through the secrets and lies and walked away now you're on a new path a brand new leap of faith a new journey what do we need to know and this journey is taking you toward complete emotional fulfillment. Your wishes and your dreams coming true. What else do we need to know? Divine love. Again, Ace of Cups. A divine partnership. Divine love. What else do we need to know? You're staying in this Queen of Swords energy, being your true authentic self, cutting out lower vibrational energies that want to come in and try to give you offers that are beneath you energetically. You're not entertaining these offers from people that you don't even trust. Yeah. Because you're moving forward with a King of Pentacles, someone that's grounded, stable, and financially secure. You have... No room in your life for the player that wants to win at all cost. Aries Leo Sag. You're not interested. You, there's no value in it. You see no value. Yeah. This person's feeling really defeated right now. You also have Ace of Pentacles. Uh, new opportunities that lead to financial security, stability. Again, you know, the past person wanting to rush in, but they're being stopped by the divine. You are the empress, and the divine is not allowing this person to interfere in your life. Yeah. 
they're experiencing tower moments. Um, you know, seeing you in your power and watching you obsessively. This is validating what the other deck said. They're toxic. Bound to toxicity going through the Ten of Swords pain. What else do we need to know? You know, they see you as the lady of luxury. They see you have your back to them and that you've closed the cycle and they want to come in and give you a love offer. Ooh. You're in your power, proud and confident, and you're manifesting a new life. You're not looking to the past. Yeah, there was no peace in that situation, so you've moved on. You put an end to it. You moved on because you know you deserve better than that. Yeah, you are the queen of pentacles. You are. Grounded, stable, and financially secure. And we already saw the king of pentacles come out. And you know the past? You remember they abandoned rejected you. They chose others over you. Now this past person is experiencing this. Holding on to you. But this is an energy of someone that gives to multiple people and tries to get away with it. You can't get away with it. I wish these people would wake up and see you can't get away with it. Yeah. They made the wrong decision in love and now they want to apologize. But you're in this wounded energy. And now they're, they're experiencing heartbreak. Wanting to put in the work, but you're done. You're done. All they do is create illusions. They've received clarity. And you're headed toward Ten of Pentacles without this energy. So... I know you guys don't want the past back, but they're coming out. So I'm just going to read what it says. Let's see what else comes out. This is the Cosmic Reading Cards. Wow. Okay. We got time out. It's time to take a rest. Cosmic Connection. This talks about the soulmate that's coming in. Divine love. Mother Earth. Getting connected to the Earth. Being more grounded have gone through an awakening that was beneath that so we're gonna do sorry beginnings trust what you need is there with love all can be accomplished time to do it differently go beyond what you have done before right you've learned your lesson so you're a different person now so you can't be in the same energy that you used to be in is the angels and ancestors high priest intend and create listening to your your higher self listening to your intuition listening to god's divine guidance okay let's do the cancerian oracle what do we need to know Yes, your intuition is correct. So if some of you had a yes or no question, they're saying yes, your intuition is correct. Fall back, no need to worry, take a break. All will work out. That's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, that was your reading. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.